Hi, I'm Shazad Haq and welcome back to the Active SG Cup in the East Zone. Today we are at Passe Risk Secondary School for a little change of scenery. The kids, as you can see behind us, are enjoying themselves and I'm delighted to say we have Indra Sarandawad here with us, the former Singapore striker and now the coaching staff of Tanjong Paga United in the Singapore Premier League. Indra, really good to have you here with us today. Hi, thank you. Thank you for having me. You know, uh, it's good to be down here, yes. you know, looking at them play. Uh, kind of reminds me of when I was much younger, you know, when we played. Perfect time to start because <laughs> I want to ask you, how did you get into football? Uh, started from school, you know. Mm. Uh, I played in school and then, then there was this uh, uh, Milo soccer school and then the uh, combined school. So that's how I started and then I went into the age groups mm. and then I started to play from there. Did you have yeah. any uh, football heroes when you were growing up? Who did you look up to? Of course, uh, you know, that time there was like Fundy, mm. you know, and then when I was a bit older, uh, there was Abbas Saad, Alistair Edwards, yeah. you know, and then same household names, people like Kadi Yaya, mm. Malik Awab, yeah. Interesting because when you really made your name, you came first to national attention during the Lion City Cup, yeah. of course, everyone yeah. still <laughs> talks about that. I know you can see your face light up when you talk about Lion City Cup, and you were yeah. already described as a next Fandi Ahmad. I'm mm. sure you remember that. And mm. How did you feel about that comparison? Well, at that age, you know, you don't really think too much about it okay. because you don't know how big it was, actually. Okay. You know, as a kid, you're just like, oh, you know, yeah, maybe I did play well, you know, I'm a good player, that's all. Um, so you didn't feel any pressure? No, no pressure at all. Because like I said, you know, when I started playing, it was just a game to me. Yeah. I was just having fun, right. you know. There wasn't any much expectations out of me. Yeah. I didn't expect anything much. So that's how I enjoyed the game. Well, yeah. from Lion City Cup, then you, of course, became a pro footballer. You mm. became the first uh, local footballer to score 100 domestic goals, which is a, a great achievement. And you were very, very young when that happened. Yeah. Is it really true that clubs like Sheffield Wednesday and Ipswich Town were looking at you at that time? Uh, there was talk, sir. there was mention about it, but nothing really, you know, um, solid happened. Uh, so, uh, it's nice to be recognised, but basically that's about it. Uh. Yeah. But then you had a, a real shot at an overseas contract. Yeah. You, yeah. you went for trials with Real Salt Lake in yeah. the MLS. Yeah. You know, what was that experience like for you? It was good. I just, I, I just spoke to... One of the young players in uh, Tanjung Paga, you know, he was asking me. So I told him it was a very good experience, you know. Um, different setup, mm. different environment, you know, different kind of players. Mm. So, um, and then you see, you see different uh, cultures that are down there. So yeah. it was a good experience for me. You came close, right? You came really close yeah, to signing. Yeah. You had an injury, I believe, right? Yeah, it was very close, but... Uh, but I didn't regret anything. Uh. You okay. know, and already I can just look back and say I already tried my best. You know, it's better to try than like not to try. To not to know at all, right? Yeah, correct. And to know that you you were probably gonna get it, right? Yeah. Almost, almost. Almost there. Almost, almost there. <laughs> it's really unfortunate, but yeah. of course, you know, me growing up watching you, and mm -hmm. I'm sure many Singaporeans, we remember you scoring some <clears throat> memorable goals: Uruguay, Japan, Manchester United. Mm. Which one for you is the most memorable, and why? For me, it's Japan, because it was a World Cup qualifiers game. Yeah. You know. Um, I guess it was a proper tournament, it right. was an uh, A tournament for the national team. So I guess that is one of my most uh, memorable goals. Uh. Yeah. You say that, but I also remember the goal against Manchester United. Yeah, that one, if you took I, off the shirt and yeah, you were... If I wanted to like this some uh, Manchester United players, I will talk about that one. Because you're a Liverpool <laughs> fan, that's yes. why. Is that, is that kind of what drove you? Is that why you kind of did what you did? I, I did, yeah. Because one of the main reasons was also because my dad is a Man United fan. <laughs> okay. So, did so, you have a good chat after that? Yeah, I just had a kick of like, you know, scoring and then, you know, going back home and telling him I scored against his team. So, <laughs> so that's why you celebrated the way you did. Yeah. That one will always live long in the memory for me yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and many people. Yeah.